Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today's video is going to be a different kind of haul. This is a swag haul from So Lame 2022. So let's go ahead and see what I got. All right, so for anyone that doesn't know, So, sorry, not So Lame, Go Wild is the big planner convention that they have in the States. And pre-COVID, like way, like, Pre pre COVID, um, Denise from Luscious Labels and the other members of the amazing Victorian planner community um, got together to make up this this kind of it's, it's kind of a bit of a joke and we call it so lame or Denise calls it so lame um, and and what we do is we all get together we have a planner day the same way we have planner days a lot um, but some of the best planner places planner stores in Australia donate some gifts. To us so this is everything that I got in my little swag bag I have had a very quick look through it and there are some things in here where the girls and I did a bit of a swap a route so we'll go through it all see what I got and then we can all get excited about it together oh my goodness there is so much in here so much in here and I want to send the biggest thank you to everybody who donated. I'm obviously going to give them little shout outs here along the way, but just thank you. It it makes our day. It makes us, like we don't go to these events for this. It's a bonus, but it is awesome. So thank you so, so much. And like I said, I'll, I'll go through everybody here along the way. Where do I even start? All right, let's start here. So we'll start with these awesome, um, where did the notebooks go? They were here a second ago awesome little notebooks. So these are from Helen McLean. I was going to move these up, but I'll bring them in sort of one by one. These are from Helen McLean. Now Helen does awesome leather journals and notebooks and stuff. So this is all sort of all together, but oh, that's where that went. I grabbed a piece of paper as well. Uh, but these are, she, she donated a bunch of different sizes and configurations and things. These are the, just the rums, ones I grabbed. So the ones I got here, they are a craft cover, and they've got grid on the inside and the pages are numbered. Beautiful white paper and then you've just got this sort of yellowy paper on the out of it. And then the second one is all lined. Oh no, I thought I got two lined ones. I got two, yay, two grid ones. I love, I love grid ones. I have lots of um, TNs that these are gonna fit into beautifully. I just need to think of a way to use them. I'm not gonna go without ideas. <laughs> not gonna go without ideas for how to use notebooks so they are awesome thank you so much Helen uh, Helen is from Victoria um, lives out at Ironsbury I need to have a look into some of her stuff because I'm really excited by that um, then we have here from Mumsy and Bub and I'm gonna open all this washi tape uh, we have this absolutely stunning postcard here we go postcard uh, it has gold holographic sparkle foil on the front and it's just got this gorgeous dark on the back and then I also got this beautiful washi tape so there's gonna be a lot of opening here so just stay with me we have this gorgeous holographic unicorn wide washi so this is a, a nice wide one where's the end of it there it is I'll just grab a run of this so it's got holographic foil along the bottom in the sort of bubbles and then it's got the unicorn on a beautiful navy Let's go not navy, let's go twilight blue. Absolutely stunning washi tape. That's gorgeous. And I guarantee you that'll get you somewhere in my collection. So thank you so much uh, to Kat from Mumsy and Bub for that one. I'm just grabbing stuff here. Some of it I know are going to be sort of double up. So this lot is from um, the wonderful Emma at Tender Designs. Now Tender Designs is actually closed down now. So this is sort of excess stock uh, that she donated. So we've got some minimalist little uh, clear adhesive sticky notes and I've got these ones I actually just want to have a look at them because I haven't had an opportunity to pull these ones out I've got some of these ones already so I don't need to worry about what they look like but these little dots I wonder if these are a little bit like those little memo me ones that I got I think they are so you've got a little white pink blush gray and black oh yeah there we go so just little circled ones yeah, that's not too bad. The adhesive's not fantastic on them. That's just the that's the kind of note they are. If you've been around sticky notes for long enough, you know there's some there's some sticky notes that are 
more adhesive than others and quite honestly sometimes you need one that's not as adhesive and then you've got the absolutely gorgeous little bow uh, bow and marble that Emma's been famous for for so long so thank you so much Emma for those ones we miss you um, oh goodness I don't even where am I going also got some bits here um, I don't know I don't know who it was but someone was destashing a bunch of their planners anonymous sticker kits and so Denise just chucked in a bunch into everybody's. We all did some swapping. I think I originally started with, oh, I actually don't even remember what I started with. No idea. But we know that I've got plenty of planners anonymous. But these are sort of ones that may or may not have been used. So I've got the ones, uh, the sticker kit from Whale Song. Some of the stickers are missing. That's absolutely okay with me. I'm just going to add it into my regular collection. Oh, I'm so glad I got that sticker. I used it recently. I got some dolphins, some mermaid tails, and then you got some more swatches. And then I also got Hooger Life, which is another one of my favourites, so I was really happy to get this one. Missing a couple of stickers, like I said, but not a big deal. Definitely still completely usable and quite happy to add those both to my stash. So thank you very much for that. Uh, so these ones are from Stickers For You by Kate. This is a new one for me. I haven't seen these before, so thank you so much to Kate for donating these ones. So I'm just opening up the bag. Come on. There we go. What have we got in this little pile? So we've got the little business card there. Uh, stickers for you by Kate. Oh my god, that I think that's a hedgehog. That is the cutest hedgehog die cut ever. And it is a die cut sticker, so you can definitely put that down on a on a card front or on a, um, a dashboard or something similar. We've got some little planner girls doing their thing, so planning, cleaning, watching movies. You've got some cute little clear tick boxes. That's all like green ticks. That's awesome. And then you've got these cute. So you've got two. Oh, so you've got one here that's got payday. That's on a glossy glossy kind of one and then these ones are on what I would call unicorn sticker paper and it's got sort of all different um, events so you've got I can I can tell these ones so you've got um, Anzac Day or Remembrance Day um, you've got Easter or Passover you've got some presents for birthdays you've got Christmas daylight savings Harmony Day um, Jewish holidays Melbourne Cup Day pancake day like that's really cool um, and also this really cute one for uh, <laughs> um, oh, St. Patrick's Day that's really cute I love those I might have to have a look into some other ones of those because they're absolutely gorgeous so thank you so much to Kate for um, from stickers for you by Kate they are gorgeous got another sticker sheet here from the cuddly turtle I love that name um, you got some sort of cute little daisies dream plan do deep breath you got this self-love regard for one's own being well-being and happiness and a cute little gamer cat he's absolutely an unexceptional day <laughs> so cute thank you so much to the cuddly turtle for that one uh, we have a little thing here I think these are just of random little bits oh these are from the I think from fave things collective or just some extra little bits here so you've got a little quote here that says I open my mind to new possibilities and welcome changes in my life and that's just a cute little sticker there kind of like a box we've got a little discount there from um fave things collect favorite things collective got a cute little i know that one's a lime uh, not lime more um fox and cactus reverse mermaid and then i have some cute little ones here they look like coffee monsters co but i don't know you'll see when i do the zooms i'm avoiding the washi tapes <laughs> i'm avoiding the washi tapes um so this one is from pin and needle it's a cute little um, planner charm. Come on, there we go. So you've got the Facebook group there and the Instagram and stuff if you want to find them. But you've got this gorgeous wide, oh I love these, um, wide paper clip and then you've got a gorgeous little pearl. Mine is, ro mine is like a really gold gold. Um, but there were pink ones and I think I saw a blue one. Very nice colour collection, very, very pretty and very, 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 very nice. I'm looking forward to putting that in my planner as well. Uh, May from May Paper Co. has sent over, oh, I forgot one, uh, sent over one of her awesome to-do 
sticky note list. I have one of these already and I love it. So you've just got your minimal to do sticky note. Also got a postcard from her that is got notes on the back. So really good to laminate these and then use it. And you've also got one of her cute little uh, business cards. Thank you so much to May from May Paper Co. Those are gorgeous. Then from Stash World. Oh, I love their hollow stickers. They just look gorgeous. Oh, love. Uh, we have, we have a couple of things here. So we've got this gorgeous little dashboard. I'm going to call this a dashboard. It could also be called a very large postcard. But it's got that ice cream with Stash World written on it, which is just amazing. I think we all thought when we looked at this that this was like an overlay. It's, I don't think it is. I'm just, it does feel like it's got a, a cover of some kind. So maybe it is sticky. I'm just playing with it. It does. It does. It has like a, you can take it off so it can become a whole overlay sticker. So you could lay this straight over the top and use it as a dashboard. Or you could use this as an overlay sticker across anything. You could, and it's, I'm going to try this. I'm just really hoping it works. This is one of my non-permanent whiteboard markers. I just want to see if this works. I'm just up the top here. Just writing high. And then just grabbing one of my tissues. I just, I think it'll come off. I'm hoping it'll come off. It does. So you could turn anything. So this postcard here, for example, could really easily stick that over the top and turn this into then something that I can write all over. Love that. I have to investigate some more of that because that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, also got, like I said, this cute little postcard. Then you've got some extra stickers. So you've got some shop smalls. A little sampler there with the blues. I love that color, color colorway. Uh, and then you've also got another full size sampler here with the purples, the blacks, and the pinks. That's really pretty as well. Thank you, Jesse. Jesse from Stash Well. Uh, I also have here another set of Planners Anonymous stickers. I must have grabbed another set somewhere along the way. These ones are from Sail and Sea. They are one of my absolute favorite kits. A lot of those ones have been used. That's absolutely fine. I will add those to my stash. Okay. We are nearly, I'm just going to move two of those, three of those off because I will show you them, but they didn't, they were extras that I got off some of the girls. So I'll come back to that. Uh, so this is a little goodie bag from Lime and Mortar. First of all, I love the little bag and that bag is going to be so handy. I can see ways of using that already. Got the little sticker on the side, which is just beautiful and your wonderful little business card. You have yourself a um, pen loop, and this comes with a little bit of adhesive on it already. So you've got the beautiful, I think it's faux leather, but it could be real leather, I'm not sure. Uh, stick that onto the back of your planner or wherever you want to put it, onto a, a dashboard or something similar, and then you can just put your pen through the loop. And you can imagine how that'll sit in your planner. I'll just grab mine. So you could just stick it on there. Also great for notebooks or something like that. But never, ever, ever can go wrong with extra pen loops. I also have a little mini ruler here. This thing is gorgeous. It's very simple. Like it's a clear piece of acrylic. I love that it's a bit floppy. But that's something that's really cool to chuck in. Maybe in your pocket into keeping your planner or something like that. But it's got lime and mortar written on it. And it's just really cute. Really easy obviously to use. And then you have this gorgeous little... Uh, lime and mortar notepad uh, with her I think she calls them outlined but please don't yell at me Leanne for getting that wrong but they're absolutely gorgeous so thank you so much to Leanne for sending that one through because that is a gorgeous little set, um, stationery set that I can guarantee you is going to be getting some use all right last but not least we have some washi tape have some washi tape so this one here is from sumalthings.com I haven't heard of this one before, but this is so cute. This is absolutely adorable. I'm just keeping that so I don't lose what it is. But it is this gorgeous bee tape. Now, you guys know how much I love bees. I just, I have so much honeycomb, so much bee themed stuff. But this is just so cute. I'm just trying to, where's, where's the repeat? So it's got the little hexagons. It's got gold foil on it. And then it has a frog. I'm going to go with a turtle and then maybe like a little unicorn fish and then something else and then maybe a little rabbit dressed up as bees. 
and I just it's so cute I love the yellow I love the hexagons I can see that turning into something very very cute so very very excited for that one so thank you to some more things I think that's how you say it apologies if I got it wrong uh, thank you so much to them for that one I then have some cookie sticker co times simply gilded washi tape oh my goodness I don't know where this has come from thank you so much oh, I can't even get it open I'm so excited my fingers are shaking but it is this gorgeous black now I don't have a lot of black washi I don't tend to lean towards it so the fact that I've got some now is really really cool uh, and these also have like a, a pewter kind of look to it so hold on Whoops, I was trying not to do that. There we go. So you've got a, a standard and then a skinny. And it is this black washi with a pewter bow. So the simply gilded bow, the same way you sort of get all the others. But then it's got this sort of um, dripping kind of thing happening over the top, which I guess is the Cookie Stickers Co. kind of part of it. This is stunning. I love the little one more. Like the little one with the, the super skinny bow and then that dripping is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited for those. And I don't I, I have a little bit of Simply Gilded, but I don't have lots and lots and lots. So to have a special one that's teamed up um that's teamed up with Cookie Sticker Co. is just awesome. And then last but not least, I have some tape here from Fox and Cactus. Now this is the one that was included in my swag bag, but I was very lucky and happened to grab some of the others from some of the other girls. So I'll show you some of the others um, because they are so super cute. So I, I, this one's got all these cute little fruits and they've got little bottoms and they're all showing us their booties and I just think it's gorgeous. So you've got a little strawberry, a mango, a pear, an apple, a banana and a watermelon on a kind of um, pastel um, ombre background with gorgeous holographic stars. Oh my goodness. It just makes me smile. That's more what I love it for. It just makes me smile. It's just, it's the cutest little tape. Uh, and then like I said, I was very lucky. There was a couple of extras left over and a few of the girls didn't want theirs. So I got theirs and thank you so much to the girls for letting me grab them because I'm going to love these. Now I have a fox and cactus order in right now. I got some from Mermaid. Now, I, I've told you guys this before. I am on a washi, what's the word I'm looking for? A washi ban? That's not the right word. I'm not allowed to buy a new washi at the moment unless it's special washi like fox and cactus, like uh, Simply Gilded, like Bloomsicle, like some more things. That's the only time I'm allowed to buy it. So I, I think I got one or two rolls of washi from Mermaid. So as soon as I get them, I will definitely be sharing them with you. Probably more likely on Insta. Uh, so if you don't follow me on Insta and you're interested in seeing what I got, um, please follow me over there. But I'm so excited to have these because I looked at them and I thought, oh, I really should get, especially this one. Um, and I didn't. So thank you. These are the chicken nugget dinosaurs. I just love them. I just think they're so whimsical. And it's my favourite thing about Fox and Cactus. They are so whimsical. They are so fun. And I love, love, love that Emma draws her own. It's just absolutely cute. And then we've got this one with, it's got pink, like a pink and orange ombre with rose gold and it's got hot sauce. I just love it. It's so cute. But I think this one's my favourite, so I'm even gladder that I got it. This one's got this cute little birthday critter thing going on. So it's got a rainbow background. It's got um, metal, metallic, sorry, metal, metallic pink little stars in the background. And we've got a birthday cat, a birthday dog, a birthday frog, a birthday fox, a birthday rabbit, a birthday raccoon. I think that's a birthday bat and a birthday seagull. That's going to become the, I, I close all my envelopes for birthday cards with a washi tape on the back. This is going to become the one I use for a while because it's absolutely gorgeous. So that's everything that I got in swag. Thank you again so, so, so much to everybody. And I will list everything down below. Anything I can find, I will list down below so you can go and check these stores out and support them if you have seen something here that you like. 
I also really quickly want to show you the stuff that I bought from Luscious Labels because Denise from Luscious Labels opens her house to us for these events. She puts it all together, she does all the work. And the best way for us to support her is to buy stuff from her amazing store. Um, so I wanted to share some of these new things with you because they are absolutely gorgeous. So Denise had put together some of these for me to pick up at Picture to Page last week, but I didn't get there. So I'm even more excited to have a look at them now. So these two are ones that I've had on my wish list from her for a little while. This one is the acrylic and this is the watercolour paint swatch. These are on her absolutely amazing matte sticker paper which just melts into the page. I just thought they were really cute just for chucking it like a, if you've got a something that you need to remind yourself of. I just thought it was a really cute way to do it. Really easy to write on with markers. I love, 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 love her stickers so they were a must have. I also grab, or there's also a, a sampler here and you've got her little business card. But then these are stuff that she has recently released, which I'm so excited about. So you guys know I love uh, Denise's vellum. So this is a little thing that she's calling the Card Makers Vellum Variety Bundle. So this has got different sizes of her gorgeous printed vellum that sort of just cut out for different sizes. So I've got a lot of these already. But I love the fact that these come in different size. Like, there's just a little bit of it. So if you just need to use a little bit for a card, you don't need to use the whole bit. I love that it's got multiples. Oh, I'm just going... I, I have ideas to make Christmas cards with this. I had already, but now to get some more. And then, of course, her gorgeous anemones, which I just love. That's really, really cool. I love that she's got it in that little bundle now. So you can get so just a little bit of it instead of buying the whole big sheet. That said... I could get some of her brand new sheets of vellum. So these are her new antique range. These are actually two of the same ones, but they're slightly differently printed, which I think is really cool. So this first one is her script one. You guys know how much I love vintage stuff. I really love playing with it. I don't use it enough, but I do love it. So you've got one here that's got sort of like a really deep, uh, like the contrast on here is really high, or the saturations on here are really high. And it's on this slightly yellowy kind of vellum. And then this one, the, the um, oh, I just said the word. Come on, use your brain. The saturation is a little bit lower, but it's on a sort of like a more brown kind of look. I just like that there's two different looks from almost the same thing. They don't line up, so you could easily use them across two different things. I just think that's really cool. And then these ones, these are two of the exact same one. Again, this one's just got the saturation yanked up. Exactly the same print, just different sort of levels of it. And I love this. I love that it's got sort of like the the music, the little pictures, the bit from like a um, like a dictionary or something. I love it. It's just so, it is very, very cool. And I have suggested to Denise that she do a whole page of just music because I think that would look absolutely stunning on vellum. So those are to add to my vellum collection as well, which I need to work out where they are. They're in here somewhere. Um, she also has some cool new things called vellum flakes. Now, first of all, she was so super proud that these came in this cute little pizza box. Oh my goodness. So cute. So these are also printed on vellum and they're these kind of, um, kind of like little vellum die cuts. So you've got the, the two kind of vintage ones from Paris. You've got some flowers. You've got some poppies. You've got some absolutely gorgeous butterflies. Uh, you've got some more florals there. Then you've got some postcards. And I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to use these yet. But as soon as I saw them, I was like, oh, yes, must have those. Just must have those. So we've got those little vellum die cuts to play with. I also have some vellum die cuts from Uniquely Creative that I got in the um, advent calendar that I need to use uh, that I haven't got around to yet. But I will. This is the last one. These are... These are printed on her matte sticker paper and they're kind of like ephemera as a sticker. So this is again something I want to play with. I want to have a, a go at this now. I don't want to take it off its sheet. But you've sort of got, like that's a sticker. So if I can pull this up a little. Oh goodness. Can't find it. There it is. So that's a sticker. So it would then sit on your page like that. It's just gorgeous. So you've got that kind of little, you've got the map, you've got the text writing, 
just like on a journal page or on kind of like a mixed media page I just think this would look absolutely stunning I need to use these I need to use these as well I'm really excited by a couple of mixed media techniques that I have seen recently so I'm kind of wanting to do something like that if you haven't seen her already, already Vicky GP who does a lot of stuff with studio light which is how I found her um, she does some amazing mixed media journals which I just need to copy that because it's just amazing um, so I'm that's a list of things I want to do so <laughs> I've just ideas everywhere so thank you again so much to everybody who donated sway thank you again too to all the amazing women who came to so lame it was absolutely amazing just to be in a room with planners again it's been so long since we've been able to do it and it just felt it felt like the world had gone back to normal I know it's still not but it was just amazing. So thank you so much to everyone who donated Sway. Thank you to Denise for organising it. Thank you to all the wonderful ladies who were there because you just, you made my absolute day. So thank you so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed going through what I got. These events are obviously organised by Denise, so they're not happening everywhere. But if you're someone who does, like who wants to start up an event like this, if you live in Victoria or you live somewhere, if you don't live in Victoria, sorry, if you live somewhere else, have a shot at it set the thing up set an event up for yourself and there's no harm in asking people if they can donate for your event the planners community is such a wonderful wonderful place and I don't want to say go out and hit them all up but I'm sure some of them could easily donate some bits and pieces so thank you again just just for being super and and supporting the community it's it's just a fabulous thing so thank you I've gushed on long enough thank you again for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you did enjoyed it and let me know if there's something here you'd like to see me use i hope you have an absolutely awesome 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 rest of your day and i'll catch you again in my next video sending lots of huggles bye